Hello everyone. Last Friday, SEBI released the new circular for short selling. So, in this video, we'll discuss three things related to that. First, we'll discuss in detail what are those new rules, why and how different they are from the existing one. Second, where we can find those SLB related information. And finally, we'll also discuss how we can find how much of the index position that FIA got open interest, either short or long. Just a bit of background about what happened last week. In the Adani Hindenburg issue, Supreme Court recommended recommended SEBI to come up with a robust framework to prevent naked short selling and the stock manipulation. Again, it's not new. I mean, in India, strong rules against naked short selling was implemented all the way back in 2001 itself, whereas in US, it was implemented in 2005 only. Similarly, in Europe, it was implemented in around 2007 to 2008 time. Hence, to be honest, after many iterations, many changes and improvements, at present in the whole world, already India is the one of the hardest place where where naked short selling is very difficult and for the fact the short selling itself is very difficult. Even when it comes to Adani stock, Hindenburg Research couldn't short sell it directly. So what they actually did is, we know both Adani Enterprise and Adani Port is part of the Nifty Index future. So at that time in Singapore on the SGX Nifty Index, they created a single stock future. Again for those, there was not enough liquidity for Adani stocks to short since almost 70% was owned by promoter. That's the reason there is no official release from Hindenburg that how much money they made through Adani stock shorting. Anyway, even to prevent this kind of situation in future, I'm guessing NSE decided to remove SGX Nifty from Singapore and created Gift Nifty. Let me explain. I mean, this issue with Adani and Hindenburg happened in February, March 2023. Then in April 2023, NSE announced that they were delisting SGX Nifty out of Singapore and creating dollar-based Gift Nifty in Gujarat. So my point is, even before Supreme Court recommended recommendation, already in India, the rules against short selling was very strong and robust. That's aside, let's quickly understand what is the difference between short selling and naked short selling. Simply, short selling means, let's say for example, Infosys trades now at around 100 rupees per share. If person A thinks the stock is overpriced or overbought means, then he can use that market inefficiency for his advantage, like selling the stock in the market without owning and with a consideration of buying those when the price drops to 50 rupees rupees per share means. Here, please note this. I said consideration since here if it involves or if you replace the word consideration by borrowing, margin payment and settlement obligations, then it is the legal traditional short selling. If it is without borrowing, margin payment and settlement obligations means, then that is called naked short selling, which is completely illegal now almost all around the world since it can easily lead to market manipulation and potentially will destabilize the market. So in India, if a person A wants to short Infosys share means, then that person A needs to borrow the Infosys stock from somebody who owns that with some lending fees as per SEBI's SLB scheme framework. SLB means Securities Leading and Borrowing Scheme. Additionally, they have to put up a substantial amount of money as a collateral or we can say margin amount. And finally, as per the contract, when the agreed upon date comes, they must make sure to complete all the necessary settlement obligations. I hope the basis and the legal of the short selling is clear. So here before last Friday, I mean before January 5th, 2024, already SEBI had this seven point framework related to short selling is in place, such as we can't do naked short selling, it is not allowed. Institutions like FII, DA and mutual funds are not allowed to do the day trading and they have to disclose their short positions to SEBI, etc. Then now what is new? In addition to those seven points, SEBI added two more points. First one, earlier institutions like FII, FII, DIA and mutual fund used to disclose their short positions after they take but as per this new framework they have to disclose upfront at the time of placement itself not after the placement. Then for retail traders the brokers like Zeroda, Sharkon has to collect all those short selling details and disclose all the trade details to NSE and SEBI by the end of the day. So to be honest there aren't much new change compared to what's already in place rather this addition of just these two points. Now comes the the question where we can find those details. Again, the circular was issued only on last Friday, so I'm not sure where they will update. However, for the old framework before Friday, we can get those details from the NSE websites. I mean, in the search tab, just type the company we want to see. For example, here I'm typing TCS. Then that will take us to the TCS stock page. In that, select the SLB tab, which will show us all the month's lending contract. Then if we expand it, we can see all those details. What is 
is the lending ask and bid fee etc similarly if you want to find out about fii and da index short long positions again we can check those also in the same nse india website we just need to go into the market tab and then select get market data then choose daily report section which will take us to a page all reports in that all report page select derivatives and finally download the csv file called fno participant wise open interest this file will give us the raw numbers like how much futures stocks and options that fii dii and retail traders are holding whether it can be long or short and from that we just need to calculate the percentage for example as per 5th jan 2024 closing out of near 420000 index future contracts fii is having the short position of around 150000 which is 36% meaning currently fii have a 36% short position and 64% in the long set for the index futures please remember they can't do the naked short selling so always the total number of long and short will match each other similarly from the total options open interest we can see fii bought for about 16% of call options and sold about 11% so on 5th jan 2024 all this data suggesting at that time fii's are leaning more towards long positions so that's all in this video a big thanks to the viewer who suggested this topic in the comment section i hope it's useful please don't make any investigation based on this it's just for educational purpose only thanks for watching